Weekly Wokely, James, what are they doing now to us? <sighs> well, they're screwing the great state of Victoria even more than they already did with the Commonwealth <laughs> Games. Um, the problem is, is that there's a firewood shortage and a timber shortage in general, not because they've run out of trees, but because the Andrews government doesn't want to let anybody cut the things down. So not only has this caused all sorts of problems with the construction industry, they've had to go and get an injunction on this, but of course it also means that, you know, using firewood to heat your house, and who doesn't love the smell Lots of, of a wood burning? Fire, fire, except greenies. They hate it because they're joyless scolds. <laughs> but that's the Andrews okay, government James, for you. Because what we're now doing is pillaging Tasmania's resources. So Victoria oh, is taking no. all the timber from Tasmania. Apparently that doesn't hurt the environment, so it's all good. So it's a win-win for Victoria right here. Right. But the Tasmanians aren't too happy because I think they're going to have shortages shortly. Yeah, they're, they're learning. They're learning that they're being raided and pillaged. And, exactly. <laughs> um, uh, but let's end on a good news story. Yeah. The Italians, Giorgio Maloney, the Conservatives and Italians have come to their senses. How are we well, yes, Italy under Maloney just it seems to be winning. And now they've said Miss Italia pageant, their beauty pageant, only biological females can compete, can win. This comes after Miss Netherlands, the recent winner there, was a trans woman. So a, a male who identifies as a woman is now a woman, it was the winner. And uh, there is Miss Netherlands. That won't be happening in Italy. They have got a rule here and they are going to stick by it. No biological males allowed in this beauty contest. So could we see the... Was there a runner-up in the Miss Netherlands? We could perhaps um, have a look at I don't know. I mean, she well, was... Well, we don't a, have her. We That's don't a shame. have her. I just thought it's always, I mean, if you talk, it's always interesting to see who the runner-up is. Well, if you were going to judge it just on beauty, and it is a beauty pageant, the runner-up, you could suggest, was robbed there. <laughs> I, th I think so. Look it up for yourselves. You could definitely look that up. But uh, seriously, this... Uh, you know, the Italians, as, as we were saying earlier in the show, Greg Sheridan had this piece, James, about how conservatives now are taking over Europe in well, and this is the, the thing, and this is the thing, and you know, everybody sort of, you know, says, "Oh no, you know, they're hard right and all of this sort of thing." The far right, nonsense. it's a nonsense, nonsense term. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything. And so, you know, we will see, we will see as the very same pressures build here. You know, if you can get a competent opposition at state and federal levels, you'll see the exact same things happen here. But. You know, this whole demonization of conservatives as far right, it's just nonsense. And, and, and it's happening, it's not just places like Italy, Sweden, Finland, these the Netherlands. places that you would think are very much left wing, they've got centre right coalitions in now. Yeah. The, the, the right is taking over Europe, and if you just have this an option is all, here, in, all in reaction to immigration, immigration, all energy. in reaction to net climate, net zero, energy, same, all the rest.